they deep down do not believe that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals negative 1 over 12. This right here is negative 1 over 8. Wow. Okay, let's do some math for fun. Today we'll do something extremely fun. Yes, we'll be doing this again. But let me just give you guys a warning. This right here is going to trigger some of you guys. So be sure you control your temper. And seriously, I don't want to go to a math jail again. He calls this formula his best friend. And yet he just kind of, you know, pushes his best friend away, you know? And that's why I'm putting him in math jail. And yes, I will actually link the video in the description. You guys can watch it, have some fun with it, and just have some laugh with it. I think it's a great video. Just have some fun with it, like seriously, okay. And then today, I will be doing this again. But I want to give the credit to Guo Jun. Like he is the one who left the comment on my website, blackpinripen.com, and he is going to show us how to add this up. And the answer is not negative 1 over 12, and the answer is not negative 1 over 8, and the answer is of course not positive infinity. That's the boring answer, right? So don't, no, just don't do positive infinity. By the way, as usual, we are going to take a look right here, and then we're just going to call this to be S, because for some, we will assume this converges. And then what we're going to do is take a look of the 1, I'm going to keep it, and then I'm going to collect all the even numbers. So I'll put that down in red. So we have the 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and so on. And let me just put it right here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And of course, we're adding them up. And let me just put on a plus dot dot dot. Well, we also have the leftovers, namely 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and so on. Well, originally, this was equal to s. This right here should still be equal to s, isn't it? Shouldn't it? I don't know. Anyway, let's come back here. We have the 1 right here, and take a look. Everybody right here is an even number, so we can factor out a 2. This is the charging text for everybody right here. So I will put plus 2, and then let's see. Originally, this was 2, and then if you charge the text, or well, you took out the 2, this becomes 1. And then this becomes 2, this becomes 3, and then 4, and then 5, and then 6, and then so on, so on, so on. Seriously, factoring is like charging everybody for tax. I know that's kind of horrible, but let's just like deal with it. And now let's take a look right here. 3, 5, 7, 8. I mean, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, all that stuff. No, we cannot charge people for tax right here, right? Because there's no common factor, but hold on. Because, thanks to Guo Jun, because he showed us, in fact, if you combine the consecutive numbers, you see this right here is plus 8, this right here is 16, this right here is 24, and you can guess the next number. Yes, that's the case, but I'll just put on plus dot dot dot. Right here, we can factor out an 8, so the charge, you know, the tax rate is higher in the blue portion. But yeah, anyway though, let me write this down to be equal to s again because you know we have the equation right here and then i will write this down again just to be legitimate so now we have the one and then we have the two and then right here is the plus one two three four five six and so on and then right here for the blue portion yes the tax rate is much higher you factor out the eight and then this becomes one this becomes two this becomes three and then the next one will be 4, and so on. Don't forget, all this right here is still equal to s, isn't it? Yes, it is. And now, take a look. This right here is 1, no problem on that. Plus 2, and by the way, the plus should be in red. Yeah. Plus 2. And now, what's this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. Add them up. We call this to be s, didn't we? So put on s. This is not 25, this is 2 times s. And then take a look right here. This is plus 8. And then right here you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so, and so on. You don't see it, but it, they are there. It's also s right here. And look at this right here. 1 plus 2s plus 8s It's equal to s. So we can call this to be s. 
And now we can just solve this simple equation. Of course, this right here is 10s. Move to the right-hand side, you get negative 9s. And of course, you still have the 1 on the left-hand side. If you want to solve for x, divide negative 9 on both sides. In another word, you get s equals negative 1 over 9. So, this is the answer. In another word, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus dot dot dot, so on, so on, so on, forever, is equal to negative 1 over 9. I think this right here can trigger a lot of people. Anyway, if you know how else to add this up and to get a bizarre number, please don't say infinity, okay? No, just don't. That's too boring. Leave a comment down below and let me know. We have negative 1 over 12 already. We have negative 1 over 8. And right now, we also have negative 1 over 9. So, you know, let me know if you can do this right here um, with a different way, come with a different number. Impress us. Anyway, this is it. Hopefully, you guys all like this video. And just leave whatever you guys want in the comment section. You can argue whatever, up to you. And yes, I may go to a math jail again. Oh well. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching.